During the government shutdown, the FCC was kind of working, kind of not. Was working on what they called essential items, whatever the heck that's defined as. Okay, but during that time, they were not issuing renewals or new ham radio licenses, but VEs, uh, volunteer examiners, and VECs, volunteer exam coordinator groups, were still giving ham radio tests and ham radio upgrade tests and new license tests. And during that time, 43 days of government shutdown, they took about 2,500 new applications for amateur radio licenses. So guys, that tells me that amateur radio is just freaking dying. I did a video last week, uh, not sure the timing of the premieres of all these, but last week I recorded a video about how is ham radio outdated, is it dying, is the numbers are dwindling, and you know, pr we proved that that part was wrong. Okay, because since 2007 or so, the numbers have been going up. Either going up or staying steady. Watch that video. You can see more about that over there. But I found this article. Thanks, Carlos, for sending this to me. Carlos, the sk skydiving monkey, parachute Jesus, as they call him. He sent me this article. He's like, dude, this is right up your alley. I'm like, yep, you're right about that. ARRL VEC ready to file 2,500 plus. 2,500 plus ham radio license applications, FCC extends renewal filing date. So if your FCC ham radio license or GMRS license or other personal radio license it, it talks about right here, amateur ship, ship license, aircraft, GMRS, commercial operators license, if that was up for renewal during this government shutdown, you've received an extension. You've received an extension. Renewal filings originally due on October 1st through and including March 5th of 2026, are now due on March 5th of 2026. So everything that was expired, everything that was coming up for renewal between the 1st of October 2025 and, and um, the 5th of March 2026, almost six months, five months worth of renewals, have all been pushed to March 5th. So you've got several months. You have a year and a half. For the amateur radio license, you have a year and a half after your license, if you let it expire, you have a year and a half to renew it without taking a test again. You can't operate during that time, but you can just renew it and not take a test and go on about your day. But this is a story on the ARRL website. It is got a lot of information about the government shutdown here. And it says, let's see, on Thursday morning, so so the first thing I noticed is the, the original article was on 11-18, which at the time of this recording was about three days ago. They updated it yesterday. Updated 11-20-2025, FCC system issues affecting application processing. So, they, <laughs> so the, the website's not working. Big, I, and, and a lot of you have commented saying, I've tried to get the website to work. I tried to get my GMRS license. You just go in there and sign your name and, and put, you know, um, fill out the form and pay your 35 bucks and you get a GMRS license. And I have heard reports of that failing recently as well. So... On Thursday morning, an official alert was posted on the FCC website about the FCC systems experiencing significant performance degradation right here. I don't know if we're just bombarding it too much or if their website just sucks. I'm not sure. While some applications were successfully processed yesterday afternoon, it appears that currently the EBF system is no longer accepting applications. According to the website, uh, there will be s uh, substantial delays in retrieving such uh, search results. Slower delayed processing of new apps, modifications, renewals, assignments, transfers, and other filings. Intermittent timeouts during submission. General sluggishness. Inability to complete application fee payments. Okay. FCC technical staff and contractors are actively investigating the cause and are working to restore normal system performance as quickly as possible. The issue is being treated with the highest priority. Highest priority the FCC gives anyway. Commission will post additional notices when system performance has been restored and La, 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 la. During the shutdown, now this is, the, this is the cool part right here. During the shutdown, the ARRL VEC urged volunteer examiners to continue giving ham radio exams. See important information from, for ARRL VEC exam candidates. Quote, we have over 2,500 license applications queued up, said Soma. Soma is referring to uh, Mar manager Maria Soma, AB1FM, ARRL VEC Maria Soma. 
And she explained that the announcement means the amateurs whose license expired or, ex or will expire between October 1st and March 5th may continue to operate until completing a license renewal by March 5th. So you can continue to operate even if your license is expired in October. Just keep going because now your renewal date has been pushed back to March 5th. So she says we have over 2,500 license applications queued up. She noted that the AWRL VEC has already started to file the backlog of applications. At least, qu uh, start quote again. At least for now, when the FCC again resumes processing, they are limiting each use each EBF user, like AWRL VEC, to upload no more than seventy five applications per hour. Per hour, seventy five applications per hour. When I first read that, I thought that said per day. It says seventy five applications per hour, to ensure the system is stable. She asks applicants to be patient during the FCC process backlog. For AWRL VEC exam candidates who are unable to get an FCC FRN, if you have a GMRS license or a, a, a GROL license or any type of FCC, any type of radio license at all, you have a FCC registration number, what's called an FRN, and the FCC CORDS system was unavailable. Please follow these steps to ensure your license application is ready to be processed promptly once the EBF system comes back online. So they give some steps here. to, And I've, I've heard some of this as well. I've heard some people saying that, hey, I can't even get an FRN number. I can't log into the website. There's some kind of error. It's slow. It's sluggish, whatnot. And I've, I've been hearing that for a while, actually. I don't know if they took any of that down during the 43-day government shutdown. Regardless, we have, we have over 2,500 applications and it doesn't really break down are they new applications or renewals i don't know it sounds like they're new applications to me now you say new applications there might be people who have their tech or general license that went into a vec and took their extra test or took their general upgrade from technician test and got that upgrade and that might be one of those 2500 i don't know if it's 2500 brand new people or not um, this article does not break it down that specifically, and quite frankly, they probably don't have that information until they load it into a computer somewhere and, and then have the numbers read back to them. So I don't know. I, I don't know how they're doing it. And you know, if they're using exam tools, then uh, it's probably calculating it pretty accurately. If they're using paper logs, which is still a thing, then who knows how many it is. But either way, either way, if you are interested in getting your ham radio license or your upgrade, I highly recommend Ham Radio Prep. Go to hamradioprep.com. Check out all of their license courses, license classes. During Black Friday, during the month of November and into December, they are offering a huge bundle of all of their courses for a very deep discounted price. They have a satellite course. They have an MCOM course. They have a Baofeng Basics or a Radio Basics course. They have an HF radio course. They have all three license courses for technician, general, and extra. They're offering a Black Friday discount on that entire package. And in addition to that, you can save a 20% discount with the coupon code of Jason20. Get Jason20 will get you 20% off of all of their packages, individual courses, or a bundle package, anything from hamradioprep.com. Appreciate those guys' support over the last two or three years. They've been a good um, sponsor of the channel. They're fun to talk to at HamFests. They've gotten a lot of people licensed over the course of the last few years. So hamradioprep.com, go check them out. And uh, get on the bandwagon to get your amateur radio license like these other 2,500 people right here. But if you, if you are having problem getting your FRN, here is what you do. And I will put a link to this article in the description below so you guys can go check that out. Register for your course account at this URL right here, apps.fcc.gov slash course slash login, user login dot do. Using your email address and your username, verify your account and log in to obtain your FCC FRN. Be sure to register as an individual. Enter your personal information exactly as it appears on your photo ID. When you receive your FRN, save it carefully. This is your permanent FCC identifier. Send your name, test date, and new FRN to AWRL VEC email, VEC at AWRL.org. And there we go. There's other VECs out there. GLARG, uh, Alaska has a VEC. Uh, W5YI has a VEC. AWRL is one of many VECs, volunteer exam coordinator group that is out there. They do a fantastic job. And um, if you go through another VEC, that's totally fine as well. Just go study and go get your ham radio license. So, But 2,500 applications waiting. 2,500 in 43 days. In the last 43 days, the government was shut down for 43 days. They 
reopened the government about about a week ago at the, t- the time of this recording, around November 13th. Okay, but prior to that, it was 43 days. And apparently, <laughs> a week ago, they still can't get the website to work, so I don't know. But yeah, 2,500 plus backlog applications for amateur radio license. Guys, amateur radio is not dying. It's getting more popular. It's getting better. It's evolving, but it is not dying. I'd like to know, have you experienced problems with the FCC website? Have you tried, even GMRS, have you tried to get a GMRS license? Have you tried to get an FRN? Have you tried to get your ham radio license upgrade? Or have you taken a new exam and you're still waiting on your call sign? You're still waiting on your upgrade because everything's been so slow right now during this government shutdown. Put a uh, comment in the description below. Let me know what your specific situation is. I would love to hear from you. 73. If you enjoyed this video, check out these videos over here because this is what YouTube thinks you want to watch next. 73.